features that we have had in the Microsoft world now for well over 20 some odd years, even going back into the 1990s, is a feature called RAS, uh, which stands for Remote Access Services. Now, uh, in the year 2000, Microsoft actually changed the name to Routing and Remote Access Services, or RRAS. Uh, most of everybody discontinued to call it RAS for the most part, but some people did call it um, RRAS. Uh, ultimately, though, RAS is a server that you can set up uh, in your environment. You can support, uh, originally it was dial-up, but then in the year 2000, they really started pushing the concept of VPNs, and um, ever since then, VPN has really been the big thing that it does. Uh, when Windows 7 came out, they did introduce a concept known as direct access, which uh, was uh, sort of going to replace the idea of a VPN well with another VPN a scenario, and then eventually... Um, they've kind of gotten away from direct access and gone back to just using standard VPNs with uh, a protocol known as IKE, uh, Internet Key Exchange Version 2, uh, which has a lot of really cool VPN-related features. So um, ultimately, though, with RAS, it's basically a server that you can set up uh, as opposed to getting a VPN concentrator. Now, most people will tell you if you're wanting to connect uh, Azure with your on-premise network, you're going to want to get an actual VPN gateway server uh, device, uh, and and put that here, okay? And you can you can connect your VPN gateway to Azure. Now you could also have uh, what's called Express Route, uh, which is a WAN connection into your environment, uh, but all of that to the side. If you don't want to have a, an actual, you don't want to pay for an actual hardware device and you want to use a server to allow telecommuters like um, this guy right here to get into your internal network here, you can do that with RAS. So what you can do is you can set up a server. Uh, ideally, you'd want to set that up in your DMZ, okay? And you are going to install the remote access services role on that server. From there, you can configure VPN. Okay, RAS servers can be a router, they can be VPN, they can support NAT, which is network address translation. Um, you know, you can put the, old, the direct access feature on there. Like I said, they're kind of getting away from that. Um, and RAS supports a, a number of protocols that make all this work. They have an older protocol called PPTP, point-to-point -point tunneling protocol that, again, everybody's kind of gotten away from because though it does provide encryption, it doesn't provide any integrity for your data, which means it's kind of a vulnerable protocol to use. Um, then in the that was that uh, protocol came out in the 90s. It was uh, created by Cisco and Microsoft working together. And then in the year 2000, they came up with uh, L2TP, Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, which um, uh, supports IPsec encryption, which gives you good encryption and integrity. It's a little bit sluggish, a little bit slow compared to what we have now, but it's a, still a very good protocol that you can use. And it supports Windows 2000 and higher. We also have um, SSTP. This came out in uh, the year 2010 when Windows uh, um, uh, 8, sorry, Vista, Vista came out uh, in the year 2008, and uh, that's when this was released. Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol. It uses SSL or you can use TLS for encryption. It's probably the fastest of the protocols, but the one Microsoft is really kind of shining on now is IKE version 2. This is the one that came out in the year 2010 when Windows 7 came out. So IKE version 2 has a bunch of really, uh, really great features that we don't get with um, the other protocols. Number one, we get a, a feature called VPN Reconnect, okay? And uh, VPN Reconnect makes it where if you lose your connection just briefly, it'll just reestablish that connection. The other thing we got is we got what's called the Always On VPN, which is cool. Um, always On VPN makes it where a laptop that's using the VPN can always be connected to the VPN and it can detect whether it's on the network or whether it's outside. Because if it's on the network, you normally don't want it to go through the VPN to connect to servers that are that are right there on the network with it. Um, but if it's outside the network, you would want it to know, oh, I'm outside the network, I need to connect into the VPN. So this is what the always on VPN go, uh, is. IKE version two uses IPsec, just like L2TP does, but it's, uh, it's, it's faster than uh, L2TP usually on average. So. This is the protocol that when you're dealing with VPN, this is the one Microsoft kind of shines on, okay?
This is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>